KXAN's Doug Shoup takes an in-depth look now at what builders and contractors must do to protect the neighbors around their sites from fire. You want some water? After five years, Leo Surratt finally saved enough money to build a carport for his RV. They were welding like right up here. But welding in the drought worried his neighbors Richard Hessling and Jessica Schatz. Safety first. That's what I see. Schatz took these pictures of the welding from her home next door last week. This is life and death. This is everything we've ever owned or ever will have is going to be destroyed. Neighbors say there was someone standing by with a garden hose while the welding was taking place. But take a look at all this dry grass and brush that's around. The neighbors say a simple garden hose would have been no match for a fire started by welding sparks. One spark, a garden hose is not going to contain it. Neighbors say they called the county dozens of times until sheriff's deputies inspected the site. We cut all this grass back and watered all this stuff down really good. Surratt says he followed all of the burn ban rules, including clearing brush 25 feet around the site, having someone stand by with hose extinguisher and cell phone, and letting firefighters know first welding would take place. And we did everything right. Yeah. Surratt says he even delayed the project himself until it rained late last week in Williamson County, lifted the emergency disaster declaration, and returned to the burn ban rules adopted in the spring. I don't want a fire. And I don't want my neighbor to be mad at me. Um, but man, I, I think she's way overreacting. I don't think I'm being uh, overly reactive when when you see that we could all just be another Bastrop. Firefighters say there have been more concerns after the Bastrop fires. Everybody is definitely sensitive right now. And although Surratt's neighbors want the work to stop, firefighters say so long as precautions are taken, it's allowed to continue. Everybody needs to be able to continue their jobs. Uh, that's what the purpose of the burn ban sets out guidelines. Uh, that, that will provide safety rules for everyone. Doug Shoup, KXAN News.